guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another first impressions video for you guys. And this is on a brand I've been dying to try for a while now, as soon as I heard about it and I just never got around to ordering from them. And so I finally did. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So like I said in the intro, I've always wanted to try LC Cosmetics and I'm so glad I finally got the chance to. They are a little bit on the pricey side. So finally they were having 15% off. Um, for Mother's Day and then if you basically order two items on their website it brings you to their shipping minimum which is $75 and then you get free shipping so I have been wanting the foundation and the minimalist palette forever and I finally broke down and ordered them I think sometime last week and then I just received it in the mail yesterday so I thought it would be perfect for me to film you guys a first impressions video on this brand so this brand was founded by Makeup by Lulette. She is a YouTuber. I have actually never watched her channel. I just kind of heard about the brand from some other YouTubers that I like to watch. A lot of YouTubers like to talk about the foundation. I've seen Desi Perkins talk about this and then Total Makeup Junkie um, 101. She talks about this foundation quite a bit as well. And then the eyeshadow palette was definitely a Kathleen Lights Made Me Buy It palette because she actually did a tutorial two looks in one tutorial on her channel and this palette just made me do a double triple take I've wanted it forever and ever you guys know I'm a huge eyeshadow junkie um, I definitely collect eyeshadow palettes so I have been dying to try it so basically I was reading up on the brand they are all about being unique and being yourself and there was something also on the site where they talked about universal skin perfection now one thing I do feel like a lot of brands try to do is to say that like one formula works for everyone I mean that's just a marketing thing I think as a consumer you really need to realize that not every foundation is going to work on every skin tone on every like skin type things like that but they seem to kind of brand themselves as this is going to work for every skin tone and skin type so let's go ahead and talk about the eyeshadow palette first because I filmed a demo for you guys so I did my eyes first just in case there was any fallout I really wanted to do like a black smoky eye but I did go to church today so I couldn't have like a super black smoky eye so I went for something really simple but let me go ahead and throw in the demo and then we'll come back and talk about the eyeshadow palette so I just primed my lids with the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that with this shade right here. I don't know if these have names. They do on the back, but it doesn't say specifically which one is which. Anyway, I'm just going to use this almost white shade to set my lid. Just going to grab a Real Techniques brush dip into the shadow a little bit of dust but not too bad so i'm just sweeping this all over my lid and setting that concealer i really want to do a smoky eye with this palette i don't know if you guys have seen kathleen lights's um, tutorial using this palette, but I'm going to church after this, so I'm just going to do something really relaxed today. I'm um, just going to do a really easy look with this. So next I'm going to grab a blending brush. This is the Morphe R38. It's a nice fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip into this light brown shade and dust that off, and then I'm just going to place this in the crease. color is really not showing up too well so I'm going to dip into the brown which is like my favorite kind of brown just throw that all over my crease I'm not trying to be very precise with this just blowing in out everywhere and I'm even pulling this down on the lid just to give a nice wash of color in my eyes then I'm going to grab Morphe M433 and I'm gonna grab the dark brown shade I'm just gonna smoke out the outer portion uh -huh. 
And I will kind of talk to you guys about the palette um, in the beginning and the end, but from what I was expecting as of right now, just having played with this for the first time, it's not blowing me away. Like, this palette reminds me a lot of my Viseart um, Neutral Mattes palette, the 01 palette, and honestly, I think the Viseart one is better. Of course, that's more expensive, but it also has more shades. So, you know, you guys can figure out which one's worth it for you. I'm just going to take some of the black and throw that in here, too, just in the very outer corners, just concentrating it in the outer corner and just wiggling my brush to give it that smoky look and then once I feel like a lot of the product is off my brush then I start dragging it inward and then I'm going to go back to my Morphe R38 brush grab more of that orange and just throw that in the inner part of the crease just to brighten that back up again and then I'm going to just keep blending so that's pretty solid. I like the look. I'm not going to go too crazy. And then I'm just going to grab a flat Wet n Wild shadow brush, take some of the lighter shade again, and then just tap that on the inner corner. Just to lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to grab the R38 brush and blend that out. So there's no harsh lines. So yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's called a minimalist palette, so I went really minimal. And I'm going to come back with some mascara, some eyeliner, and then we're going to test out the foundation. What I want to talk about with this eyeshadow palette, now this is called the minimalist palette, and this is what the packaging looks like. I really like it. It's black, it's rose gold, it's simple. Um, it's got all the ingredients listed on there. This has a 24-month shelf life, I guess you could say. And on here it says, The Minimalist is the ultimate palette. These five super pigmented shades can be used to create any look from a soft natural look to a dramatic smoky eye. Each shade was made precisely to fit all skin tones. So that is the box. And then this is what the palette looks like. Now I didn't talk too much in the demo because I kind of wanted to talk to you guys after I demoed the product, but the first thing I noticed about this palette is it's really hard to get open, so I actually have it like cracked open because I was like struggling to get this open. I was scared I was gonna break a nail. Overall, I love the size. I think this is great for travel. If you aren't like crazy about like bright, bold colors, I mean, it really does have like everything you need. Now, whether this is gonna work for all skin tones, I'm not really sure. I think this palette will work really well for people with medium tan skin tones and maybe lighter, but if you're looking at the deeper, darker skin tones, like Naomi Campbell, Lupita, um, like really, really dark skin tones, I mean, I really don't see this palette working so well for people like that. I mean, or you could maybe do like two of the shades and maybe this one, but like these might be a little too light. I don't know. I don't have really dark skin for my skin tone. It's okay. But overall, I feel like that claim of it being perfect for every skin tone, I don't think Elsie Cosmetics really meets that. I know they're coming out with bronzers as well and they're really trying to push that it's gonna work for every skin tone and I mean the, their shade range is like five or six bronzers. So anyway, anyway, whatever. So this is a $45 palette and basically these are supposed to be super, super pigmented. Now first impressions for me when I was using this palette, I didn't think they were that pigmented. I thought the pigmentation was okay. This really reminds me of the 35O palette by Morphe and really, really reminds me of the Wise Art palette. This one is a neutral matte palette and honestly, it's like identical. This one's $45, this is an $80 palette, but you get 12 shades here and five shades here. I love the Wise Art palette. I think it, this one will work for almost all skin tones, whereas this one, I think they could have put in a few more shades in here to make this palette a little more versatile. Size-wise, this one isn't that much smaller, so if it was like a travel thing and a size thing, you could still get away with the Visart palette. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that if you're looking at this, you might wanna go with the more expensive Visart palette because this palette is amazing 
And also, if you try it and you don't like it, you can always take this back to Sephora. This one I'm kind of stuck with. The only other thing is this does have a really nice mirror. So if that's something that's important to you, maybe you can favor this one. Uh, also, again, if you have the 35 Old palette, if you want to pull that out and look at it, these shades are very similar to the shades you find in there. And I actually think the 35 Old palette is more pigmented and it's a lot cheaper than this palette so those are just things to keep in mind overall my first impression was they weren't that pigmented um i saw kathleen lights do a beautiful black smoky eye with this and i was just like oh my god these shades are going to be buttery buttery smooth um i'm going to go ahead and pop my swatches in here for you guys and then we'll come back and talk more about the pigmentation of this palette Okay guys, I wanted to bring you guys in closer so I could swatch this palette for you. So we have five shades, so it shouldn't be too hard. These are really soft shadows. Not as soft as Lorac, but nice and soft. And let me just put them on my hand so I can show them to you guys. They're not overly pigmented. The black definitely like came on to my finger better because I obviously put some pressure on it. But as you can tell here on my hand, it's not like that dark. But I just wanted to show you guys some up close swatches. I actually found the shades, shade names on the back of the box. The lightest color is called Blank's Start. The orangey shade is called Warmth tone up and then the brown is called in depth and then the black shade is called smoke out so there's that if you are curious on the shade names they're actually on the back of the box and they're listed on the back here of the palette as well but I didn't realize so just wanted to give you guys the names so I don't feel like these are overly pigmented like I was expecting like butter <laughs> like when I swatched these and when I started playing with them on my eyes I really didn't see that much pigmentation. This eye look I have on is very simple, but I have many palettes in my collection already that I can achieve a look like this with and it was so, so simple to do. So overall, I don't feel like this palette is worth the hype at all. Um, the only other thing I was really excited and I forgot to do this is these. some of these pans are bigger. So you can actually use this for like a bronzer um, or this shade and then this shade you can actually use to set your under eye. I think I saw Kathleen Lights do that and I thought that was pretty genius because I was wondering why some of the pans were bigger than the others. Less things to travel with, less bulky, um, but I just don't know if eyeshadows can function very well as face powders as well because if you think of the pigmentation, you probably don't want something that's overly pigmented on your, like, as a bronzer, uh, but these aren't, so I guess they can double for things if you're not very fussy about your formulas being overly pigmented, you just want to do a quick matte eye or a smoky eye, you can definitely do that with this, but I don't know, I just think for $45, they could have done a better job. I just shut it, now I won't be able to get it open, dang it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I swear I'm gonna break a nail trying to get this palette open. If somebody has, okay, so I just have to not try to use my nail. I think it's a great idea, not the best execution, I just feel like the pigmentation is not that great. If you were going to do five matte shadows and charge $45, I feel like you should have gone for really, really good pigment. So Okay, so next we're going to talk about the foundation. I'm going to go ahead and insert my demo right here, and then we'll come back and talk about this foundation some more. Okay, so for the foundation, I've never tried this foundation before, and this is a micro silk foundation, and it contains one fluid ounce, and it says... Shake well before use and see box for instructions. So let's see here. It's supposed to blend effortlessly, leaving the appearance of smooth, flawless matte finish. Lightweight application diminishes any skin imperfections and enhances a healthy glow to the skin for day long coverage with minimal touch ups. Lightweight, anti aging, blendable, long wear, water resistant, mild, transfer resistant, non comedogenic, paraben-free, vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, HD coverage. Shake well before use. Use fingertips for a thin application or a brush to layer for desired coverage. So I'm actually going to do half brush, half like a beauty sponge. I'm using the Real Technique sponge. This is such a soft sponge. I feel like I'm a little bit off on the shade. It's very like peachy looking in the bottle. So let's see what we get with this. It has a cool um, shape 
let me just shake it too. It has a nice shape to it. I like that it comes with a pump, but this is the price of like a high-end foundation. So I'm expecting something really, really awesome from this. And I hate how when you get a new bottle, you have to like keep pumping. Oh, my hands are in here. Oh, okay. Let's keep going. I'm about to like unscrew this and just. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay, so the shade looks very, very orangey. Feels a little stingy where I put it on my face. And so we'll do this side with the sponge, so. So nothing overly impressive. You know, it blended out pretty well. Let's try with a brush. Maybe I need to just do another layer or need more foundation, so. I can't get over how it's stinging my face. This is the Real Techniques face brush, by the way. If you guys are looking for an affordable foundation brush, it's like a couple of dollars at like Target. So overall, I can't really tell a huge difference between the sponge side and the brush side. Natural, I'm not loving the coverage. I feel like I definitely have more full coverage foundations out there. But, yeah, I don't feel a difference between the brush and the sponge. So I'm gonna do another layer and I'm just gonna do use the sponge to top it off. I just want to see if I can build the coverage because I'm not like jazzed about the coverage. I have like really dark, like around my lips. I just feel like my skin gets really dark there. So I have a little bit of a mustache because what girl doesn't? Um, so I like to have, like if I can get that covered up, that's like really my like insecure spot is like that little, like right around here because it's more discolored. It doesn't really, oh, it does claim to be long wearing. So, we'll see what it does. It's still very, like, light, because I can see my skin. Let me try a little bit more. Um, but you know, like, Desi Perkins and stuff, they rave about this foundation, so I was just really, been dying to try this brand so when they had that mother's day sale i was just like yes bitch so i did use quite a few pumps i think i used about five pumps but i can see myself in the viewfinder and i think it does look pretty flawless so what i'm gonna do is put some concealer on finish up the rest of my face and come back and show you guys the final look. So like I told you guys, I did wear this makeup look to church. So I've had this makeup on for about three hours. I got ready around 10 o'clock and it's almost one o'clock here. So I've had it on for about three hours. Honestly, I think the foundation is good. It's not like knocking my socks off, but I don't think it's bad. It's stayed on pretty well. It's not like breaking up on my skin or anything. I did think the coverage was decent. You guys did see I have to put on quite a few pumps but I honestly don't usually pay attention to how much makeup like I'm pumping out um so I mean I could have other foundations that I'm using a ton of foundation I don't even realize to get full coverage but this is the box that it comes in and this is what the packaging looks like on the um, foundation bottle it's nice it's like a frosted glass it has a nice shape to it so you can hold it in your hand um, it feels like good quality and this is $45 as well and I got the shade honey which is um, a tan shade 
and she's got 12 different shades so you should be able to kind of figure out what your match is now there's a lot of really nice information on the box here so I just kind of want to read to you guys it says LC micro silk liquid foundation blends effortlessly onto your skin leaving the appearance of a smooth flawless matte finish the lightweight application diminishes any skin imperfections and enhances a healthy glow to the skin for a day-long coverage with minimal touch-ups required. This is supposed to be lightweight, which I feel like it is. Anti-aging, I can't tell obviously because I've only used it one time. It was really blendable. It does feel like it's going to wear for a long time. Um, I don't know if it's water resistant. I'm not about to go at my face. Uh, it says it is supposed to be mildly transfer resistant. Um, and then it's paraben free, vegan, gluten free, cruelty free, and has HD coverage. So I do like that it is a cruelty free brand and things like that. It says to shake well before use and this is also made in the USA. So is the eyeshadow palette. I did forget to mention it is made in the USA as well. So that is really nice. Um, definitely not a mainstream brand. It was started by YouTubers so I'm happy to kind of try brands like that because I'm really realizing that a lot of the brands recently that I've been loving are all indie brands. And so yeah, I'm excited. Um, to try different things but yeah overall this foundation like I said I think it is a good foundation I do think it's a little bit pricey $45 like that's pretty high end for a foundation like my NARS foundation is about that range um, double wear which is one of my favorite foundations is about $40 so I don't know how they get away with charging $45 being a pretty new brand but I also think since it is made in the USA I can kind of see why the price is a little more high the only thing is I don't know if you guys noticed in the demo when I first put it on it did sting my face a little bit which is really weird because I don't have sensitive skin and I've never had a foundation make my face sting so that was a little strange. I don't know what that's about. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on if that keeps happening every time I try it on. And I do think it is lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey on my skin. I think it looks pretty natural. So overall, I am pretty impressed with this foundation. Okay, guys. So that was kind of half and half. I really thought the foundation was pretty good. But the eyeshadow palette, I don't think you need to like run out and get this. Uh, if you catch it on sale, maybe you can pick it up. But... Otherwise, I would definitely skip this one. Like I said, I feel like the Visart Neutral Matte Palette, you know, already has me covered. If I could send this back, I would because I just don't see myself reaching for this over the Visart Palette. On the other hand, I think the foundation was pretty decent. I'm going to be trying out a lot of different foundations over the next few days. So, yeah, we'll see if this one, you know, really stands out. I think it's really hard to compete with the Double Wear Foundation for me because it just goes on so well on my skin and it lasts so long um so yeah I feel bad for all these other foundations I'm trying out because they have tough competition but yeah I just thought it was fun to try out a different brand a new brand and uh for future thoughts on these LC products definitely tune in to like a favorites video or maybe I'll do like a follow-up video or something like that I'll definitely find a way to keep you guys updated Okay guys, that is it for my first impressions video on LC Cosmetics. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because then I know to keep making more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, brilliant insights, leave them down below and thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!